What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on NRV Outdoors. Today we're here at one of our favorite little trout streams to do a little bit of fishing. We're at one of my favorite little spots here, but unfortunately for us today guys, this little spot has been hammered. Been tons of people here today. One group just left and said they had absolutely no success in this hole at all. They completely got skunked and said there weren't many fish around here at all. And now I'm up here on this hill guys, peering down in here, and I would have to agree with them. There's not very many fish in here. So I'm thinking in today's video, we're gonna to have to make it really finessey in order to catch any fish. So what I've got here guys is a couple flies. We've got the beehead pheasant tail and we've got the hare's ear here guys. And these are by Cortland, just very simple little tied up flies as you can see there. And uh, you can buy these at Walmart for about a buck a pack. Super cheap, very easy to use. And uh, you don't have to be a fly tying connoisseur to come out here and have a good time fishing with flies out on your favorite trout stream. And in today's video, guys, we're gonna be using the float and fly technique on our loose mock light here, guys. We've got ourselves a little indicator. We've got a little split shot there, guys. And we're gonna be adding one of these little flies. I'm thinking we'll go ahead and start off our day with that little beauty right there. We'll start off with the hare's ear. We'll give it a few casts around. We'll try to trick some of these finicky fish and we'll see what happens. So go ahead and stick around and let's have some fun. Alrighty guys and girls, let's go ahead and hop into our pack here. Now, whenever you're going out to buy yourself some flies, if you're not much on tying them yourselves, don't worry too much about brands when you're first starting out because the, you know, the sky's the limit and there's tons of people out there making good quality flies. These ones here are very, very affordable. This pack here was actually on clearance for 45 cents. So, uh, you know, I've got 20, 22 and a half cents in each lure. And that's a really good deal to start off, guys. And once again, you don't need a fly rod. You don't need all these crazy abilities like you see on TV to catch fish on flies, guys. And any times you're fishing in a place where everybody's talking about not catching anything and it's super hard and there's no fish in the creek, the fly is always a good option, guys. It, it replicates so many different organisms down there. And once you get your skill set up, you'll learn more about each fly and uh, kind of what purpose that it has in the creek but we're going to try to catch six fish that is our challenge for the day and we're going to try to do it on these two Cortland products we brought with us so go ahead and stick around and let's just see what we can't do Mm. Got him. There we go. Heck yeah, guys. Fish number one on the old Cortland flies. It took a little bit of fishing, but we got one. It took a little bit of fishing, but we managed to get ourselves one, guys. Heck yeah, guys. There's fish number one of the day. Down here in this old hole where everyone was struggling. This poor little guy right here has been caught numerous times, it would appear. Grab him with the old hemostats, pop him loose. And we'll let him go right on back into the creek with his family. Check off, little buddy. You got it. There he goes. Heck yeah, guys. So there's fish number one on that simple little float and fly technique. And this is the exact same hole where all those fellers said they couldn't catch a fish. We slid on down here, gave them the old fly, and they had to have it. Heck yeah, guys. All righty, guys. Made our way up here to another little fishing hole. Ain't nobody around. That could be a good or a bad sign. We'll make a few casts in here with our old floating fly and we'll see what happens. Well, guys, we've changed back and forth. Had one bite on the pheasant tail and it's just not looking too good, guys. We might have to reach into our own personal fly collection here in order to Get some of these fish on as soon as I say that. We get one on the old rabbit ear guys, heck yeah. Just a little guy, but he wanted it. Heck yeah guys, just a little bitty whippersnapper. I was just talking about maybe changing up to some personal flies, but considering this little booger here went on ahead and bit for us, I think we'll fish it around a little bit longer. I had no bites on that pheasant tail. I had one little bump, that's actually not necessarily true. I did have one little bump, but he did not hold on to it. Well, that fish there bit the ear and held on to it. So we'll buy him back out there. We'll see if we can't maybe make it happen again for us.
better put the old net up. That old net curse will get you every time. Got him. Got him on, guys. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, on the old floating fly. Still tossing around that old coral here. This little beauty right here absolutely got it for us, guys. Heck yeah. Little brown trout. Gorgeous little fish right here, guys. He went on ahead and got it for us. Let's see if we can't get a hold of that old hook. Get him turned up out of there for him. And we'll just let that beautiful little brownie take right on back into the creek with his buddies. So there's three fish down, guys. We're halfway to our uh, goal for the day. And uh, not looking too bad so far. We've got two little rainbows and that nice little brownie there. It's looking pretty good all of a sudden, guys. Looking pretty good. If we can get these old fish dialed in and looking for these little flies, we might go to catching them. Just got to keep at it. Stay patient. Allow that fly just to drift around all naturally. I'm parting a couple twitches here and there. And then just hold on, guys. That's really all there is to it. It's so basic, so simple, and extremely effective, guys. You don't need a fancy fly rod to use your flies. You can just head out to your local sporting goods store, pick you up whatever thing that looks good and suits you, and take it out to the creek, pop it on your spinning rod, and get to fishing. Now, do be aware, guys, that when you're buying your flies, that you read the package. Because some flies are made for top and you don't want to buy a bunch of topwater flies and then try to put them underneath a float because it may not work out for you. But just read the package. Make sure you're getting something that's submergible and uh, you'll be in good shape. Alrighty, guys. What I'm thinking is before we change up baits and we change up everything, let's just slide down the creek to a different hole. And we introduce this little fly to some other fish because this little spot here was pretty good for a couple seconds and then the fish quit biting we will come back and try this spot again guys but i'm thinking let's slide right on down the creek here to another spot and see if we can get some little more active fish to feed on our fly got one on guys a little creek chub he absolutely slapped that old fly down there guys beautiful little creek chub there not our target species but we'll take him Got him. Oh gosh, big and big fish, guys. Big old gigantic fish. On the floating fly technique. Heck yeah. Let's get in the creek with her. Oh wow. Big old gigantic fish, guys. Bit that tiny little bitty fly. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, this is a big one. This is an old big one. Big old massive rainbow, guys. Heck yeah. I mean, a stud. Look that little old bitty fly right where you want it. We gotta get out here a little bit further. Big old angry one, guys. Big old angry one. We got her in the net. Heck yeah, guys. What an absolute stud of a rainbow trout, guys. Holy macaroni. And she bit that tiny little old bitty fly. Heck yeah, guys. She's still so angry. Fighting hard in the net. All right, let's see if we can get her popped off here, guys. Oh, she's so angry. Gosh darn is she ever. I mean, one big old rainbow trout here, guys. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, guys. She copped out of the net right there for us. Let's just see if we can't get her to take back strong. 
We want her to go back nice and strong. There she goes. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. That big old fish slam that tiny little fly bend it all out of shape but hey we'll take it that was a nice fish right there guys absolutely made my day we've been out here struggling our butts off not getting it done and that big beauty right there absolutely crushed for us guys heck yes Got him. We got him that time, by golly. Just a little rainbow. But we'll take him, guys. We had to switch up to our own hand-tied black woolly bugger to get him in the net. But, hey, we'll take it. Them old Walmart Cortland flies were doing us great, guys. We caught that great big one. But we had to switch it up to a little bit bigger presentation to get these old trout to continue feeding for us. And that's exactly what we did. We got this little booger right here. Let's just let her go on back strong. Fish number five of the day right there on my hand tied woolly bugger. Heck yeah, guys. We got him on, guys. This is a bigger fish too. Much larger fish right here. Fighting super hard. Bit that old olive woolly bugger. Oh yeah, big old nice brown trout here, guys. Heck yeah, guys. Heck yeah. Can't complain with that. I mean, a big old beautiful brown right there, guys. Heck yeah. Let's see if we can't just pop her off hook right here real quickly like. She's a fighting super hard. Does not want to be in that net. Calm down, girl. We're going to set you free. Mmm, sucker's got a mouthful of teeth on it. I tell you what, let's save our fingers. Since that old big one's already put up hurting on them. Let's just do that right there. Heck yeah, guys. Good old floating fly coming in hot, catching these old trout. Heck yeah. Got him on, guys. On the old olive woolly bugger. Oh, he kicked it right there. He kicked it right there. That'll probably be the last fish of the day right there, guys. We had to switch up to that old olive bugger. But you got to do what you got to do to try to complete your challenge. And uh, I think we've done that, guys. We've caught our six fish. We've got one big old mega one. And uh, four of the fish we caught came on those Cortland flies, those little store-bought tied-up flies, guys, and we had an absolute blast using them. Cannot complain one bit, not at all. Well, guys, we changed up flies in hopes of maybe getting one more bite. So far, no good. But it's pretty safe to say, guys, that the floating fly technique will work, especially if you're in an area where there's a big hatch going on and there's a lot of fish that are feeding on small flies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your absolute favorite fly is to use be it on a fly rod or on this old float and fly technique here, guys. But get out if you can, do yourself some fishing and have some fun. But most importantly, be safe and tight lines.